Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. It sounds like Archie Harrison is starting to develop a proper little personality. It's hard to believe that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten, Windsor, is almost a year and a half old, but time has flown and the youngest member of the royal family is growing up fast. Recently, the proud parents, who stepped away from their senior royal roles this year in favor of a new, more private life in California's Montecito, revealed all the milestones their son has reached this year, including walking and even running. And now, a source close to the family has given an insight into the toddler's personality, which seems to be developing just as fast as his movement. The insider told LMT Channel, Archie is moving about, and is lively, and they're having a great time. Archie has a lively personality. Our hearts. We can just imagine the smiling, giggling, lively little toddler running around and providing his parents with absolute joy. The source explained that the Sussexes are now in their forever home, which they bought over the summer. They said, They are now in their own family home which they haven't had properly before. The property is located in Montecito, 100 miles outside of Los Angeles, where Meghan and Harry are enjoying the quiet privacy of their community. And a home, the nine bathrooms, 16 bedrooms, separate guest house, and the outdoor pool. The couple's new life has meant they've largely been able to keep little Archie out of the spotlight, which was something they felt strongly about. Taking the decision not to give him a royal title means he's a regular citizen, just with some pretty high-profile heritage, and a move away to a more normal life. Well, as normal as you can get when you're Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, who only increase Archie's chance of a more low-key childhood. What with the Sussexes sharing the odd snippets of their son with the public, we can't wait to continue watching him grow up. Another analysis. Is Meghan Markle pregnant again? She just postponed something major. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have one healthy and unbelievably adorable baby boy at home, but fans believe they might have another little one on the way. You see, Meghan recently delayed her ongoing trial against the male on Sunday until fall 2021. When royal fans realized the trial's new date, is right around nine months away, speculation ran rampant. Many are questioning if Meghan Markle is pregnant again, and are hoping the answer is yes. In October 2019, Meghan announced she was suing the Mail on Sunday over a series of stories published in 2019 in which portions of a private letter she wrote to her father following her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry were disclosed to the public without her consent. While the trial was originally set to take place in January 2021, the Duchess has reportedly requested for it to be pushed back to the fall. Meghan's request to postpone was granted after her legal team provided a confidential reason as to why it was necessary. Given that the nine-month delay is the same length of time as a pregnancy term, royal fans are chattering about Meghan possibly having another baby on board. The potential pregnancy news wouldn't be a complete surprise. The couple have spoken out in the past about their desire for more kids. Speaking with British Vogue for their 2019 September issue, Harry revealed he does indeed want more kids, just not too many. He said, Two children, maximum. Only time will tell why Meghan chose to delay the trial by nine months, but if the rumors ring true, maybe Archie could be getting a little sister or brother very soon. Another report. Princess Diana worried Prince Harry and Prince William would be embarrassed after her tell-all interview. Former butler claims. Princess Diana spoke candidly in her famous 1995 Panorama interview with BBC journalist Martin Bashir, but she reportedly had some regrets about the tell-all moment. Her former butler claims that Diana was worried her children, 
Prince Harry and Prince William would be embarrassed by her. Princess Diana spoke openly about her marriage. Diana and Prince Charles had been legally separated at the time of the interview, and she was quite open about how the reality of her marriage differed from her expectations. When Bashir asked, what were the expectations that you had for married life? Diana answered, I think like any marriage, especially when you've had divorced parents like myself, you'd want to try even harder to make it work, and you don't want to fall back into a pattern that you've seen happen in your own family, she added. I desperately wanted it to work, I desperately loved my husband and I wanted to share everything together, and I thought that we were a very good team. Diana dropped a bombshell line when discussing Prince Charles' relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles. When asked, do you think Mrs. Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Diana said, well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Her former butler claims Diana was worried about her son's reactions to the interview. Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, shared with Good Morning Britain how Diana had some worries about what Prince Harry and Prince William would think of what she said during the interview. Burrell said of her interview, The princess, she was a professional, she was briefed, she was rehearsed. The recording was on her terms, she said what she wanted to say. He continued, but looking back on it, she did say to me she worried about speaking about her love life, about James Hewitt, and what the boys would think, he added. No children want to listen to their parents' infidelity, it's the same the world over. She was worried that the boys would be embarrassed by that. Burrell spoke of his own friendship with Diana, explaining, I knew her intimately. I think that the princess was very vulnerable at that time. However, she wanted to get her own side of the story across. Prince William was reportedly angry but later understood. Prince William, who was 13 at the time of the interview, was reportedly upset with his mother for revealing so much of their family's private life. Royal expert Katie Nichol had shared details of Prince William's reaction to his mother's interview in the Amazon Prime documentary William and Harry, Brothers in Arms. She explained, William was exposed to everything from the interview and called his mother in a fury and a rage. According to Nichol, Diana's friend Simone Simmons told her, it was the one time William turned on his mother and said that he would never forgive Diana for what she'd done. He did forgive her soon after, however, and Prince William spoke about the interview in the 2017 documentary Diana. He said, I can understand, having sometimes been in those situations, you feel incredibly desperate, and it is very unfair that things are being said that are untrue. The easiest thing to do is just to say or go to the media yourself. Open that door, but once you've opened it you can never close it again. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, Please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Meghan Markle's latest accessory broke a major royal rule. Many royal family insiders were quick to notice the clash in viewpoints between the Windsors and their latest addition, Meghan Markle. The outspoken actress ruffled a few more feathers recently after wearing a t-shirt with the letters or BG, honoring the late Supreme Court Justice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, recently recorded a podcast with Teenager Therapy, and her relaxed outfit paid homage to Bader Ginsburg. Additionally, her face mask displayed one of the Supreme Court Justice's most famous lines, when there are nine. This refers to when Ruth Bader Ginsburg was asked how many women would be enough for the Supreme Court, and she responded by saying that there would only be enough when all nine seats were filled by women. Both the Duchess shirt and face mask are from Etsy. As members of the royal family are not permitted to showcase their political views, Meghan's public statement raised some eyebrows. But, after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior members of the royal family, their strict rules have loosened slightly. Meghan paid homage to Ruth Bader Ginsburg in a statement. As Meghan has been a longtime feminist advocate, she also released a statement on Bader Ginsburg's passing. She said, With an incomparable and indelible legacy, Ruth Bader Ginsburg will forever be known as a woman of brilliance, a justice of courage, and a human of deep conviction. She has been a true inspiration to me since I was a girl. Honor her, remember her, act for her. Despite her outspoken ideals, the Duchess insists that her viewpoints aren't anything that should cause alarm from the establishment. Last month, Meghan spoke about the age of digital misinformation during Fortune's Most Powerful Women Virtual Summit, explaining, If you look back at anything I've said, what ends up being inflammatory is people's interpretation of it, but if you listen to what I actually say it's not controversial. 
As Meghan continues to get more vocal about her political opinions, it may lead to continued stress between the House of Windsor and the Duke and Duchess. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Oh, stop.